Hello everyone, welcome to another song reaction. This is taken from my September submissions on r slash Alex Heights. And I'm over here if you'd like to post your own song or album reaction suggestions. Although, song submissions are down until April because I gotta get caught up on all of these songs that you guys are recommending to me. We're all the way down here. We're gonna do another Bark Psychosis track. Well, I shouldn't say another. I have reacted to Hex, the entire album of Hex. Um, and I should have my ratings on here as well. I gave it a 3.5, and here are my ratings for the songs. Um, I thought it was a, a nice um, post-rock, kind of minimal, jazzy sort of album. Uh, I just feel like it fell into an awkward crack between the post-rock before it and the post-rock after it, as uh, tonally. Um, but there were tracks on here, such as Absent Friend and Pendulum Man, that I did enjoy uh, quite a bit. So... This is from an EP that is two years prior to Hex, uh, and it's Blood Rush, seven minutes long. Eager to hear kind of what they were toying with before Hex, um, and also what they were doing after Hex, I hope to be able to listen to at some point. Um, but anyway, let's hop on over here. If you guys enjoy the video, doing these things would be highly appreciated and recommended for your overall wellness and health. I'm giving uh, I'm giving health advice. You get the dopamine hit if you hit subscribe. Did you know that? And then I get it too, telepathically. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and give Blood Rush a listen. Hear that slow core coming in? My apologies. Um, it's a very minimal composition, like the most minimal from them I've heard so far.
Very nice, very nice. Uh, right off the bat, what I think of is, um, I had something in my head, it was just there. Uh, like with Talk Talk, one of my favorite Talk Talk tracks, one of my favorite tracks of all time, Newgrass, um, has this very repetitive chord progression motif thing, but I could just listen to it for eternity. Um, it's so mesmerizing and cathartic every time it just hits the next chord and descends down. Um, this was pulling from a similar playbook where it uh, it had this very repetitive, almost like just one to five, seven progression that rotated the whole time. Um, but the guitar riff on top of it helped keep it fresh. And as the song picked up energy... Um, even though it didn't really change a whole lot uh, compositionally, the dynamics increased and like the reverb really picked up, the wall of sound came in. Um, it just had this very bright, ethereal, warm feeling. And that's what I like about their music is that it falls into a very interesting place in this post-rock shoegaze, slowcore, jazzy post-rock arena thing. Um, and it, it hits a certain, uh, like spot or a certain, like hits cer certain buttons, but overall it's not a type, a certain type of post rock or ambient that I would grab for. Um, if like, if I want like background music, I lean more towards like jazz or vaporwave. That's what I, that's what I'd pull for. Um, this type of, or, or like, um, uh, talk, talk. Um, but like this type of post rock, I don't know, still the same things I had to say about hex where it's just like it, it doesn't quite have what I want in these genres, but it's still very pleasant to listen to when I do listen to it. If that makes any sense whatsoever, but no, great song. 
good liked it thank you for recommending it again if you guys enjoyed the video doing any of these things would be greatly appreciated and that's all i have for you i hope you all enjoyed the video and until next time godspeed <laughs>